personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I'm glad to finally get to this topic because I've been very anxious to make this video for, for quite some time now. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Ken Shiro Taraji, you know, the amazing boy, you know, that man right there. He's, a, he, he's someone that I really like talking about. You know, I'll find any excuse in the world to talk about Ken Shiro because he's worth talking about. A lot of fighters in boxing are good, but, you know, it's not fun to talk about. He's fun to talk about. So any excuse I get to talk about him, I will. But in this, in this particular case, this video, it, it, it involves him, but it's not just about him. In fact, it's about a fighter that I think has a chance to beat him. And this could be, you know, when we talk about one year's time from now, this time next year, this could be the legacy fight in the, in the light flyweight division. And that is the fight between uh, the amazing boy Ken Shiro Taraji, who currently holds the WBC and WBA light flyweight titles, and South African champion. And, and I've never spoken about this fighter, so this is my first time talking about this man uh, on video. And that is none other than uh, South Africa's very own Zvenati Nochinga, you know, uh, the IBF champion, 12-0, nine knockouts. Now, I genuinely believe based on the current landscape of the division and looking at the other champions is you know between him and Jonathan Gonzalez I genuinely feel like he is the biggest test for Ken Shiro out there you know um Jonathan Gonzalez all respect in the world goes out to Bombo Gonzalez hopefully Ken Shiro him can fight and if he beats Ken Shiro I, I would obviously have, have to home myself but I just I think I think Ken Shiro's got a little too much for him just being honest right but if the dominoes fall high, I think they're going to fall, and Ken Shiro gets that third belt against Jonathan Gonzalez. I could see an undisputed uh, fight with Zvenati Nochinga in Japan with Ken Shiro happening, and I think that's going to be the legacy fight of uh, Life Flyweight. I think he has the best chance to defeat Ken Shiro, because I, I, I was going back and I was just, you know, watching his career a little bit. I had a chance to watch his fight with uh, Reggie Sugarnob, as well as the fight in Mexico with the fighter's name... Um, Hector Flores. I had a chance to watch both those fights, and they were both there were two totally different fights, and it gives you great insight into the kind of fighter that Spinati Nochinga is. He's a fighter that you know in the Flores fight, he he fought for the vacant title in New Mex in, in Mexico. He fought a Mexican in Mexico for the world title, which is very difficult. I mean, ask ask he don't he don't how how hard it was for him to defend that belt. When he fought Esteban Bermudez in Mexico, it was difficult, right? Um, it was a fight where him and his coach they they didn't want to get into a firefight with, with uh, Hector Flores, but the, the the pressure that Flores is putting on uh, the South African was just too much. It was too much, and he had to sit there and fight because he couldn't really move around the ring the way he wanted to. And um, much to the delight of South Africa. You know, he, he was able to get the win in enemy territory, which is very, very shocking. I'm surprised they gave him the decision because it was, it was a close fight. But nonetheless, he earned his world title legitimately. Then he came back the next fight and fought the, uh, the undefeated Filipino fighter, uh, Reggie Sugarnob. And that was a much different fight because the Flores fight was a fight in the trenches. The Sugarnob fight was a fight that, you know, he, he actually was doing a lot more boxing, boxing from the outside. And you saw his blend of... Speed, power, boxing skills, youth, and um, he didn't he didn't knock out Reggie Reggie Sugar now, but he outboxed him to, to a decision, and I thought it was a great performance. Right now, he's throwing all nine knockouts. He's boxed eighty rounds in the professional ranks. You know, um, he's boxed like half the rounds Ken Shiro's box. Ken Shiro's box one hundred sixty two rounds in the pros. So, if and when they fight, there's gonna be a clear gap in experience. But at the same time, I think the, 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 the great equalizer in that fight for Svenati Nochinga is the fact that his youth. I mean, Ken Shiro's 31, but Ken Shiro's been in some wars, you know, with, with the Anthony olas Kuaga fight, uh, the, um, the, the Masamichi Ibuki fight, um, and some of the fights in the past. You know, he, he's been through some wars. You know, he's really, really got some... You got, you got things got a little bit of wear and tear on him. But when you factor in, you know, Svenati Nochinga's... Eight year, uh, seven years younger than him. 
It's got a three inch reach advantage. There's some things that could be exploited. Now, I, I, I've said this, I did a video I did a video recently, and you guys can go check it out. I did a video where I, I, I talked about Ken Shiro is the Hall of Famer because right now, as at the time he's shooting this video, Ken Shiro currently ranks fourth um, in boxing amongst active fighters for total career tile defenses. Um, number one is Kazuda Alko with 16. Number two is uh, like a three-way tie between Canelo, Inoue, and Terrence Crawford. And then Roman Gonzalez is after that, and then it's Ken Shiro. So he's an elite company. But I said in that video, if he beats Svenathan Nochinga, I think it would be a great, a great uh, the kind of one that would really put him over in the Hall of Fame conversation because Nochinga is you know, a, a guy that's, I believe, a legitimate, young, undefeated, bigger champion. And if and when they fight, this will probably be the last belt he's going to have to get to become undisputed. And so, to me, that's, that's, that's how you do it. That's, that's how you ultimately wind up doing it. So, um, you know, is he the man to beat Ken Shiro? I mean, truthfully, I think uh, he's got the best chance of, of the champions. I mean, Jonathan Gonzalez, again, I like Jonathan Bomo Gonzalez. I always go out of my way to say that Jonathan Bomo Gonzalez is the only Puerto Rican fighter worth anything in boxing. Because these Puerto Rican fighters, I can't stand most of these Puerto Rican fighters in, in boxing. You know? And, I'm, and I'm, part of, I'm Puerto Rican myself. Everyone always says I'm hard on the Mexicans and the Black Americans and the Europeans. But really, and truthfully, I'm the hardest on the Puerto Rican fighters because they deserve to be criticized. Because as a whole... They're not really up, they're not, they're not performing up to par. But he's one of the ones that has been performing up to par. But I just don't think he, he I don't think he's going to beat Ken Shiro, truthfully. I think it'll be a good fight for about two and a half rounds. And then Ken Shiro will figure him out and start lining up with that straight right hand and, you know, eventually get him out of there between the seventh and the tenth round. But, um, should be a good fight while it lasts. Um, once he gets that belt, you know, this is the fight that the boxing world should be clamoring for. As far as, uh, Sinati Nochinga is concerned, you know, he's got a fight coming up. On the Joe Cordina undercard, Joe Cordina is fighting uh, fighting November the fourth in Monaco on a matchroom card, defending one of his belts. And Svenathino Ching will be on the undercard. So if y'all want to check him out, he'll be taking on twenty three four and one Adrian Adrian Carrillo Dominguez. That'll be a good fight. Dominguez is a good veteran fighter. He's been in there. With, he's been in there with some good fighters. He, he he's been in there with uh, minimum weight champion Daniel uh, Valadares. So you know, good opponent, experienced opponent. Uh, the kind of guy that, you know, should up his level of experience and get him more ready for a fight with Kenshiro Taraji. But make no make, make no mistakes. Let there be no ifs, ands, and what's about it. Kenshiro Taraji versus for the Sanati Pochinga for me is one of the best fights in world boxing. It's one of the best fights that could be made. And it's the kind of fight where I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm already kind of, I'm already planning my trip to Japan in 2024. If this fight happens, you never know. You never know. You might, you might you might catch me out there because I want I want avoid, I, I want to go to a big fight in Japan and I thought like this would be a good one to go to. But um, I digress. I just wanted to get my initial thoughts out there on this because I I, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it. But um, yes, but I think Nochinga is a really good fighter and um, I, I got a lot of respect for him for the way he's handled his business handled his business as a fighter. Um, going to Mexico and winning the world title and then bringing the, uh, a, a, a title defense back to South, South Africa and creating a great atmosphere. If you didn't see it, so um, you know. I'll continue to follow the fly, fly, light flyweight division and see, you know, what what exactly is going to happen and if these two are, in fact, on a collision course. Because, again, uh, Svenati has to make sure he defends his belt in November and then keep the belt until then. Um, Ken Shiro has to make sure, because I, I, I'm, I'm led to believe that Ken Shiro is going to try to make the Jonathan Gonzalez fight because that was a fight that was signed. It didn't happen, so... Uh, Bumbo has got a fight coming up. Uh, Jonathan Gonzalez has a fight coming up. Should he get past that, they should be looking to make a Ken Shiro fight with him. And then if Ken Shiro handles business, then we can turn our attention to this fight. Because I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a good one. Uh, Nochinga isn't afraid to sit in the pocket. He's got, he's long and he's got a good right hand and a good left hook. And we know Ken Shiro. Ken Shiro is like a miniature Dimitri uh, He's like a miniature Dimitri Bivol, you know, good straight right hand, really, you know, top level jab. Um, I, I really can't think of too many better fights in the sport right now. So hopefully it gets done at some point, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here.
and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.